What up, what up, what up? It's your boy B. I'm back, baby. And uh, I want to talk to you guys today about the next recession that hits. It's only going to affect the people that have not shifted. So I want to talk to you today, man, to talk to you about shifting. There is a, uh, there is a uh, shift. I-, I don't know if many of you have heard, but Toys R Us, one of the largest retail giants, just filed bankruptcy. Just filed bankruptcy. The next shift depends upon you understanding that you can take advantage of an economy that's happening in a big, big way. And you don't have to be afraid of the next burst. You don't have to be afraid of what's coming. If you are willing to not be like the dinosaur dinosaurs, you got to adapt to the change. And when you adapt to the change, guys, you will begin to win big in a big, big way. Uh, but like I said, Toys R Us just filed bankruptcy. What a big hit. But I want to talk to you about some of the other things like big name companies, the largest media company in the world owns no media, Facebook. The largest hotel accommodation uh, company owns no real estate, Airbnb. The largest taxi company owns no taxis, Uber. The economy is shifting in such a way to where it's not appealing to the person that's static, but to the person that's more fluid. And the more fluid you become in this new economy, the more money you make. When the economy bursts, that doesn't mean that people stop spending money. People continue to spend money, but they spend it on the things that accommodates them in a certain way. So you have to understand the shift that's happening right before our eyes, guys. And just like my, my cousin uh, LaQuisha said, she said, we're literally living in an economy where everything is possible, guys. Everything is possible. Literally, you can think of something, think of a question, type it into a search engine, and get an answer. And, and just like your brain, if you ask a question, it's going to produce an answer, and you can get access to information at the tip of your fingers. Guys, you got to take advantage of that information. You got to stop depending on the old ways, the brick and mortar mindset. The brick and mortar mindset is a static mindset, guys. Think of think of ways to where you can solve a problem without literally even having to have a, a product or service that you own. Begin to stop putting the limitations on your way of thinking of how you can produce income. Begin to to start thinking of ways that you can shift into a, a new income bracket, a new possibility, just by literally having the thought. That's how powerful you are. And it's so wonderful that right now we're in this amazing time in life where we are present in the now and we live in an economy where we can press a button and make money, guys. Information, information is at the tip of our fingers and so is income. Literally, income passes through all of us on a daily basis, ongoing at the speed of life. It's going through this etheric, uh, etherical place to where it's invisible. And it's always flowing. I'll give you a prime example. If I want to go get something to eat and my card's out, I can literally press a button on my phone, call an Uber, they come pick me up, take me to where I want to go, and now they even deliver it, guys. So what I'm saying is, guys, think about the new shift. Start thinking of ways to where you can take advantage of what's happening. How can you take advantage of what's happening when companies like Toys R Us uh, 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 retail companies, the largest retail company, guys, owns no retail, owns no inventory, Amazon. Think of these things. Start to think outside the box. This this video isn't per se for the solution, but it's just to shift your way of thinking to understand that, guys, you are in an amazing time. And it's not to be afraid. It's not to, to get scared. Oh, my God, the economy is going to do this. It's for you to be happy and excited that new possibilities exist for you. New possibilities can happen for you. And by you taking advantage of it, just start asking questions on online asking questions to people who who provide information start searching on youtube go to the college of youtube here's the thing i want to tell you the other thing is learn fast learn fast what am i saying guys We've been trained in our in our past from growing up as a child that it takes 10, 15 years, three or four years to learn information, guys. Change that mindset. You can literally learn anything in an hour, learn anything in a day. It may take you a little bit to, to go past the hiccups and the bumps, but it should never take you 
days or weeks to learn a new thing. You can get online, Google, YouTube, videos, screencasts, all these other ways to get free information and learn anything. If you want to learn plumbing, go to YouTube, how to do plumbing. If you want to learn how to fix cars, go to YouTube, learn how to fix cars, guys. You can do anything in this economy. What I'm saying is, I, I posted a post the other day, how to make $1,000 a day, how to make $30,000 a month, $360,000 a year. It's such an easy thing when you expand your mind to a new shift. How do you do that? Break that thing down. Break that $30,000 down. It may look like a giant to you, right? That $30,000 in a month may look like a giant to you, but what you do is you break down these income goals into small incremental things that's believable to your mindset. And $30,000 may not be believable to you, but $50 may be believable to you. You may believe that you can grab on to $50. So what you do is you break that $30,000 down to where it say, okay, if I can do X amount of $50 transactions, how can I chalk down to that $30,000 goal? So what I did was, when we did this years ago, I said, okay, I'm going to make $1,000 a day. And how, how many $50 transactions do I have to do? Guess what? I only had to do 20 $50 transactions. My son, last night, he started a little business. He realized that the closest Krispy Kreme donuts, which everybody loves, we were talking about Krispy Kreme, everybody loves Krispy Kreme, right? The closest Krispy Kreme donuts to where we were located at the time was about an hour away from where we was. And so he saw one. He said, Dad, can you go by there and buy some uh, boxes of donuts? And because we're so far away, everybody loves them, hey, I can sell them for a little bit more than what we bought them for and make a now, here's the thing. This seven-year-old kid comes up with this amazing idea that generated him a little over $80 profit, $80 profit. Now, here's the thing. That's not that's not $1,000 a day, but guys, that's a start. You got to think outside the box. We're, 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 we're thinking that we have to take all of these uh, yearly loan courses. We're thinking that we have to work eight hours a day to make income. I'm shifting your mindset to the understanding that it never takes eight hours to make $200, $300. Do not get content with that. Get mindset shift. Change your mindset. In 10 hours, you should make $5,000. Shift your mindset. There's one thing that you can do right now. One thing that will bring you in $500. Today, right now, this hour, that you can be a solution for somebody. You can offer a product or a service for sale to somebody. And you can literally go out and win big for yourselves and your family. Stop settling, guys. Stop settling for just the mediocre the mediocre things of life. What in your house can you sell on Craigslist right now? What in your house that you ain't using no more that somebody can benefit from that can put three, four, five hundred dollars in your pocket today? And then what you do is you take a, a little bit of that, take a hundred dollars of that, and then you go to a pawn shop or something or somewhere rummy sale and go re up on that same product and do it again, guys. What I'm telling you guys is you can literally go out and continue to win big. You're in, our, you're in a new economy, guys. You're in a new economy. Love it. Embrace it. It's not the present.